Excited to be here this morning. Amen. Amen. To be in God's house, to be in His presence. Yes, sir. Amen. In His presence is fullness of joy. Yes. And in His right hand are pleasures forevermore. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. 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 I'm going to turn in our Bibles this morning to Hebrews chapter 12. Amen. Read a few verses in your hearing. Amen. And get into the word of the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. I'm just excited what God is doing. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. That he can use a donkey. He can use me this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm just excited Amen. just to be in his will. In Jesus' name. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 through 2. Amen. Hebrews 12, beginning with verse 1. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Verse 2 says, Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Hallelujah, All right. Jesus. All right. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. amen. Lord Jesus, we love you thank this you, morning. God. We give you God, glory. We praise you. God. We thank you for this opportunity to be in your house. I'm asking you to anoint me right now. Lord. Have Have no way. Way. Hallelujah, Jesus. You may be seated this morning. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen, amen. A little amen. play on words this morning. Amen. But I want to talk about for just a few minutes taking God at faith value. Hallelujah. All right. Hallelujah. Taking God at faith value. Yes, sir. Man, we, we say sometimes that we take take someone at face value. All right. Man, that, that what they say is just what we believe. Amen. Amen. You don't investigate it, you don't check it out for yourself. All right. Amen. And I do want to say, Amen. Right. Read your Bible, study your Bible. I'm not saying that this morning. Amen. Right. But Amen. We need to take God at faith value yeah. today. Amen. God. We need to take God at His word. When God yeah. says it, Amen. I believe it, and that yeah. settles it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We need to take God at faith value. Amen. Hallelujah, Amen. Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hebrews chapter 11. Amen. I'm going to read several verses in your hearing. I'm going to stop a little bit every now and then. Amen. Talk about some of these. Amen. In the hall of faith. Amen. And, uh, and beginning in Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 1. Hebrews 11 and verse 1 says, Now faith is a substance of things hoped for, right. the evidence of things not seen. Yes, sir. Amen. So what is faith this morning? Faith is the substance, amen, of things hoped for. Amen. It's something that you can't see. Amen. With the natural eye, but you believe, you know, amen, that God is going to do it. Amen. Taking God at faith value. Yep. Verse 2, for by it the elders obtained a good report. Verse 3, through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. Amen. And God spoke, amen, and it happened. Right. Amen. The worlds were framed. Hallelujah. Amen. God said, let there be light, and there was light. God said, amen, let the darkness separate from the light. Amen. He said all of these things. Amen. He said, amen, for the waters to separate, and the waters separated. He said for the trees to come forth, right. and they came forth. Amen. Yeah. And the worlds were framed yeah. by the spoken word of God. Right, Amen. Right. So the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Verse 4, by faith Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead, yet speaketh. Amen. The Bible says, Amen, that 
Cain, a man, hated Abel, his own brother. Right. Amen. The Bible says that Cain slew. God said that Cain killed his brother. Right. Amen. Because right. God smiled down at the offering, at the sacrifice that Abel had made. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. By faith, Abel offered. Amen. Verse 5, by faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death. And was not found because God had translated him. Right. But before his translation, he had this testimony right. that he yeah, pleased he God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By faith, amen. Amen. Enoch was one of the few, amen. There was only two people that I know of that did not see death. Amen. That Enoch was translated. Amen. He was walking with God, and one day they just walked right on into heaven. Amen. Because he pleased God. Amen. He had Amen. Verse 6. But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Amen. Do you have faith this morning to believe? Amen. That God is. Amen. Not trust in God. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. That God can just touch you. Amen. That God which is by faith. Right. Noah listened to God, even though he had no clue what rain was. Rain had never fallen before, like Pastor preached not too long ago. Amen. But he listened. He obeyed. That's the key. We've got to listen. We've got to obey. God never said, understand me, but he did say to listen and obey. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. But in all Hallelujah. By faith. Amen. He took God at faith value, if you will. Hallelujah. All right. Verse 8. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed 
And he went out not knowing whether he went. Can you imagine if God spoke to you and said, all right, I want you to sell everything you've got. Right. Hey, man, I want you to get a travel trailer, and I want you just to start going, just start driving down the road, head south. And whenever I, whenever I tell you to stop, that's where you're going to stop. All right. Hey, man, but that's exactly what God told Abraham to yes, do. He God. said, take up right. your tent, take your family, pack your bags. And I want you just to head out. Wow. I want you to leave where you're at. Lord, and I want you to go. Lord, he obeyed and he went out. Hallelujah. Lord, it's a scary thought sometimes. Amen. But he took God at faith value. Right. Verse 9. By faith he sojourned in the land of promise. As in a strange country. Dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob. The heirs with him of the same promise. Yes, oh, yeah. He looked for a city which hath foundations. Whose builder and maker is God. All right. That sounds a little bit like heaven to me this yes. morning. Yes. and was delivered of a child when she was past age because she judged him faithful who had promised. All right. Therefore sprang there even of one and him as good as dead so many as the stars of the sky in multitude All right. and as the sand which is by the seashore innumerable. Yeah. Abraham and Sarah were faithful to God and God blessed them, gave them the promised child after many years. If God has ever promised you anything at all, it will come to pass. I said it will come right, to pass. Yes, sir. Do you believe God's word this morning? And I'm telling you, sometimes it's hard. Yep. Sometimes we get discouraged. All right. But we know without a doubt that God has promised us a child. We know without a doubt this morning that God has promised it to us. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. Like I said, if God has ever told you something's going to happen, it's going to happen. Spiritual children. Amen. I said, God has promised this church spiritual children. We look around, what is going on this morning? There's some that aren't here that ought to be here this morning. Amen. But God has promised it. And it's going to happen this morning, church. It's going to happen in Jesus' name. We're going to see revival like we've never seen before. Hallelujah, Jesus. Believe it, receive it in Jesus' name. received the promises, amen, but having seen them afar off and were persuaded of them and embraced them, amen, you got to hold on to that promise, confess that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth, amen, we're not of this earth, church, we are not of this earth, amen, we are strangers and pilgrims in this land, God has promised us another place, another land, we're just passing through, Such things declare plainly that they 
speak a country and truly if they had been mindful of that country from whence they came out they might have had opportunity to have returned there are some amen that have been filled with the Holy Ghost they've been baptized in Jesus name they've All been right. delivered from drugs and yeah. alcohol well, like yeah. some that are here sitting this morning yeah. to have returned. Amen. But there are some of us that we have made up our mind. We're going to take God at faith value. We're going to hold on to the promises of God. We're going to trust in God. We're going to believe in God. We're going to say, God, you deliver me out of that lifestyle. You deliver me out of that sin. I'm not going back. This world is not my home. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, come on. offered up his only begotten son of oh, whom it was said that in Isaac shall thy seed be called accounting that God was able to raise him up even from the dead right. from whence also he received him right. in a figure come on, come on. I'm telling you God had given Abraham a promise Abraham and Sarah had waited many years yes. amen come on they had waited so long for that promise from God. The son that God had promised them. The very one, amen, that was supposed to be, amen, the multitude. The one that was supposed to be like the stars of the sky, like the sand of the seashore. The very son that they had waited on years upon years upon years. Waited faithfully, taking God at faith value. All right. And God said, I want you to go up to this mountain. I want you to take that son, your only son. All right. And I want you, I want you to tie him to the altar. All right. I want you to take the knife in your hand and I want you to sacrifice him to me. Yeah. Wow. God, are you serious? Yeah. Oh, Lord. Wow. I don't believe that Abraham ever questioned God. I don't no, see sir. it in the Bible. He but he said, even if... I do this, even if I take that knife and I kill him, my son, that God will be able to raise him up, even right. from the dead, right. from whence also right. he received right. him in Amen. a figure. Hallelujah. The God that gave me the son is asking me to make a sacrifice, but he's able to raise him up. Yes, sir. Amen. We know the story. The story continues. They walked up the mountain. Man, he laid him on the altar, tied him to the altar. Amen. And yet, right when he was raising the knife up, God yeah. said, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, you, you did what I told you to do. Go ahead and stop now. Amen. God provided a ram. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We also know, man, that Abraham prophesied.